Hey everybody, this is Travis. I'm going to give you a quick tutorial here on a jQuery FAQ page. This is a real down and dirty simple tutorial. As you can see, this is the final result. We'll be doing this right here. And uh, so I'll go ahead and show you how we get started. Alright, so I have some basic HTML here and I give all the questions of the class of Q, all the answers for the class of A. These are all in an un unordered list. And that's really it for the HTML. Uh, and I can't have anything in a div. You don't, that's not really necessary. And and this is the result of it. So I'm going to go ahead and put in some basic style in here. Kind of run it. You'll see what it looks like without all the jQuery. And this is basically it. So the idea is that someone's going to click on this, obviously, and the FAQ page will show up. Now, make a special note here on the question. I put cursor pointer. That lets the user know there's some action needs to be done on their part. And... Oh, and also very important on your list item, you want to display block. Everything else is just for, you know, to make it look pleasing to the eye. So, and that's really about it. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing is, if you're doing this with me on JS Fiddle website, the first thing you want to do is you want to go to JavaScript, and you want to make sure your jQuery is enabled, which in my case it is. And you're ready to get started. Uh, we need to do a document.ready, like we always do. It's good practice. And I'm going to call a function called FAQ control. Now, I haven't made this function. I'm about ready to do it. So let's go ahead and make that function. Doesn't need any arguments. Okay, the first thing I want to do is I want to take all the uh, LIs with a class of A, which is the answers, and I want to hide it. Right. So if I were to just run this the way it is, it hides all the answers. Perfect. Okay. And now I want to take the questions and I want to go ahead and show that. But before I do though, I got to put it in an on click because I want to be able to have the user click on it, right? So put it in an on click event, pass in a function. Okay. And now this is interesting. Now this becomes the question, uh, the class, the LI that has a, a question in it. However, I, I want to target, I want to target this with the on click, but I want to affect the answer. So to do that, I need to say this dot next, right? Because that'll give me the answers now. So for every question, it's going to have the corresponding answer after it. Okay. So if I say this dot next dot show, this would make you the most be just like that show right but then I can't be able to click up or nothing right so you don't really want show you actually want slide toggle All right and if you were to do that this would make the most basic FAQ page you could make simple nothing to it but of course if you want to add some of the other stuff like in my example we have these arrows and some other things then you gotta go a little bit further in okay so to do that is I need to first of all I can stick arrows in what's called the before pseudo attribute. So let me go to, let me go ahead and do that. I'll say li dot, I'm targeting the question one, before pseudo selector. And you gotta do what's called content, right? And let's say I wanna put a plus symbol in there just to kind of show you guys. And I wanna put a little bit of margin right to this too. Maybe 10 pixels or something. That might be too much, but we'll find out. So if I were to run this, and my internet's going really slow. I'm actually at a McDonald's right now, so. Okay, so if I were to run this, you'd see that the plus show does show up, which is nice. But of course, I want that plus to turn into minus. Now, the problem is, and all web developers know this, not directly anyway, can you, can you change anything in the before pseudo select or JavaScript or jQuery? But there is a sort of, I hate to use the word, like a hackish sort of way of doing it, and that's what I'm going to go ahead and show you. At least this is the only I know of. Okay. And so we are going to change that because if you know from mine, it does change. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this for right now. And I want to store this in a variable called var answer li. Because that's basically what it is. And I'm going to revisit that later. Okay, so now I want to target the data attribute. So I'm going to, so in order to get this plus to show up, 
Uh, I could also do this. Theta dash, and I can name it whatever I want. Icon. Now, it's targeting the, a the a ATTR uh, of, well, basically the data attribute that you can stick on any HTML5 element. So let me go ahead and do that right now. So I'm going to say data, and I call it icon, equals, and then I'm going to put plus. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste this for all of them. And you can certainly name this whatever you want. Just give me a moment here while I copy and paste this here. And there we go. So now if I were to run this, this would have the exact same effect. Nothing should have happened. Good. Exact same effect. Okay. Now, so what I want to do is I want to change that icon into a minus. Now, like I said, you can't directly do that, but there's but with the data icon with the ATTR data icon here that I just made, you can. So to do that, I would say this because this is the uh, allies with the question or the queue uh, class. So let's say this dot attr, and I could uh, I specify what it is. In this case, it's data icon, and I could pass in whatever I want. So if I were to do that, for example, now this is not what I want, but if I were to do that, for example, um, and I were to, it would change it like I want to. Problem is, though, I, I want to be able to change it. When it's and when it's a plus to a minus and when it's a minus back to a plus, so to do that is I wouldn't do it that way. Well, actually, hold on a second. What I want to do is I'm gonna put this. I want to wrap this in an if statement. So if I say if the question class has a data attribute of a plus symbol, then I want to make the I want to make that ATTR, and I want to set it to a minus, just like so. Else, switch it back to a plus. And I'm trying to type as fast as I can, folks. Okay, so now if I were to, oh, and also, when I do that, I want to answer li, now this is where this comes in handy, and I want to slide down. Nice little jQuery helper method we have. And of course, I want this to slide up. And of course, you can find out more about jQuery methods uh, at the jQuery's official website. Go ahead and run. And there we go. You got yourself a basic FAQ page. Now, if you notice in my final example, I had arrows here, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do arrows. Very, very simple. I'm going to go back to my data icon, and i got to look at my notes here. I don't remember exactly what it is. Oh, actually, you know what? I think I have it here. Okay, so I went to unicodetable.com, and I, and I searched for the geometric shapes. And so what I want is I want this arrow here, right? This uh, black, black right pointing triangle. And if I notice, it's 25B7, okay? Uh, or 25B6, rather, is the one I want. 25B6. So I want to go to back to this right here. Now, to do it with uh, HTML, you add the and symbol with the number, and then whatever it was. 25, I think I said B6. And you add the semicolon at the end. Now, I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this for the rest of them. To kind of save some time, hopefully. Now, if I were to run this, it should have the arrow symbol. Oh, I made a mistake. Oh, I forgot to put the X. I, that's right. In HTML, you got to put that X there. Sometimes, anyway. Okay, now it should work. Okay, so now we should have the arrows, which we do. Okay, but now it's looking for a plus here. So obviously, I got to change this now. Now, to do it in jQuery, it's a little bit different. You got to have a backslash U. Okay, followed by whatever it was. In my case, it was 2, 5, what is it? I say B6, because that's what it is up here. So I'm going to change this one to backslash U, 2, 5, B6. 
And now for the uh, down arrow, I simply got to look at what it is. So down arrow, it's it's two five B C, okay. So two five B C. Wait, that's my finished product. Two five B C. Oh, it's backslash U two five B C. Okay. Now, if I were to run this, it should this should work out for me. Now, when I go down, it does indeed change the arrow back down again, exactly the way I want it. And I can go ahead and you know make all these come up if I want to, and that way the user uh, can have a better uh, user experience on the website and only look at the questions that well, he, the only thing that he or she cares about. Okay, so that was a quick down and dirty. Uh, FAQ page using jQuery. There's numerous ways of doing this. I could I could think in my head probably four different ways to do this. But I thought this would be the most simplest way uh, to show you guys and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. This is Travis signing off and I'll see you next time.